my name is Lisa Persons, and I'm one of the spiritual directors affiliated with Ignatius House. In this series, we sit today with the story of the Annunciation to Joseph, and we witness his let it be, his fiat. We are invited to learn with him how to respond with tenderness, acceptance, and hope in the face of uncertainty and the unexpected. We meet Joseph in the midst of a crisis. His betrothed is pregnant. A righteous man faced with an unexplainable, confusing, and shocking situation, Joseph is uncertain of what to do. He wants to do the right thing, the loving thing. What does he do? In his uncertainty, he pauses. He sleeps on it. In this pause, an angel speaks to him in a dream telling him to be not afraid, telling him that God has a plan, that Mary's pregnancy is holy and is fulfilling the promise of God. The way Joseph pauses and sits in his uncertainty shows us that it is okay to be uncertain and that it is good to pause and to not react when we are met with the unexpected or with some kind of disappointment or frustration of our plans. Joseph's hesitation and uncertainty creates room, creates room for the angel to speak, to speak to him in a dream. Likewise, God can work through our hesitations and vulnerabilities to bring about his plans. Just like God uses Joseph's uncertainty, God uses Joseph's tenderness to show us how God is a God of tender love. He picks a man to be the human father of Jesus who will model tenderness and a love that doesn't condemn, but welcomes and embraces. This helps us to see that God does not condemn our weaknesses either. Pope Francis has invited us to pray with St. Joseph this year because St. Joseph models for us how to live tenderly, steadfastly, and creatively in the midst of crisis. And Joseph is like so many of us, living hidden quiet lives, doing the next right thing to the best of our ability, supporting our human family and the human family in our own small ways. When faced with the unexpected or disruptions or losses, we don't usually fully understand why. Joseph doesn't get an explanation about what happened, but here's an angel invite him to be not afraid. He is invited to accept the situation, to accept Mary. He faithfully and lovingly does this, and as the story of the incarnation unfolds, he obeys step by step, doing the next right thing, as it is revealed to him in dreams. Like Joseph, we can accept the sudden turns of life, the conflicts of life, trusting that though we may not be able to understand the whys and hows of what is going on, that God is with us. As God told Joseph, be not afraid. So he seems to tell us, be not afraid. We can, see, we can seek to root and ground ourselves in love to pause and open ourselves to sources of wisdom as we discern how to respond to the events in our lives. Though like Joseph, we usually can't see the whole picture, we can seek to do the next right thing with tenderness, courageous creativity, and hope, trusting that God will work through our humble offerings. Peace be with you.